Hello viewers, welcome to Eduflux. This is Sanmitra Bhomik, JATC. And in this series of lectures, we are going to teach you about aviation knowledge that is a part of airport operation syllabus. And this topic is not covered in YouTube well. And there are very less or rather there is very scattered materials available in the internet. Like you will not get everything at one place. So our Eduflux team is going to provide you almost the full aviation knowledge syllabus or the things which you need to study to pass the exam. So let's begin. The first topic which we are going to cover is aviation related abbreviations. So aviation related abbreviation, there are a lot of abbreviations. I'm going to cover in brief the abbreviation, the full form and little bit about the abbreviation. Like you'll be getting a little bit insight. I'm not going to very much technical details. I will be explaining you in layman's language. What are all these about? Okay, the first one is ICAO, I-C-A-O, International Civil Aviation Organization. So what is ICAO? ICAO is the, you can say, it's the professional org organization which takes care of the aviation rules and aviation about aviation. It governs the aviation. Like in India, we have DGCA, just the next organization, that is D Directorate General of Civil Aviation. DGCA is the regulatory authority. And what is ICAO? ICAO is the... ICAO is, we can say, the regulatory body or the blanket authority across the globe. Like almost all the countries, bearing a few, almost all the countries are the members of the ICAO. So why we need ICAO? We need ICAO so that we will have a common air, tra air aviation law. Like if there are different aviation laws for different countries, then international travel will be very rough. Like the air traffic control in India is following something and the air traffic control in say Myanmar or say China or say Pakistan they are following something else then it will be a very difficult job for both controllers and pilots and for everybody so there, there is a need of an uniformity so that is why ICAO came into existence so DGCA let's move on to the next one DGCA is the Directorate General of Civil Aviation this is the regulatory authority in India DGCA is responsible for regulating the air transport like licensing and licensing of personals, licensing some aerodromes, making sure that the pilots, the, the pilots, the controllers, the aerodromes are meeting the standards or not, etc. So to keep so in short DGC is the regulatory body of aviation. Now IATA, IATA. IATA, as the name suggests, it is the International Air Transport Association and this is for, the, for air transport, it's an, it's an association, I'm not going into details at, as it is not important that much. AERA, Airports Economic Regulatory Authority of India. That means from the airport, there is an economic, there is a big economic factor in airports. Like uh, in airports, there is a billing there is a lot of money required to run the airports and there is a lot of there is a lot of expenditure and revenue is also generated so all this management that is looked after by AERA ANSP Air Navigation Service Provider Air Navigation Service Provider means who is providing the service in India this AAI that is Airport Authority of India like who is providing the communication service who is providing the controlling etc that is ANSP AI, AI is Air India. Now it is the name of the operator Air India. Why I have mentioned it here? Because it is the national carrier. National carrier of India. It is Air India. ACI is Airports Council International. This also you can Google, not that much important. ATC, Air Traffic Control. This is very important as surprisingly many of us do not know about ATC. ATC is Air Traffic Control and Air Traffic Controllers are responsible for safe and expeditious flow of air traffic. In short, what is safe? That means when you are boarding an airplane, aeroplane, you don't worry that what will happen to the aeroplane. You just, you can relax and just remember, in, in the air, if there is an accident, God forbid there is, God forbid that there, there shall be no accidents, but if there is an accident, then there is a very less probability that the, there will be survivors. However, the good thing is that for accidents to happen, it is one in a million. That is such the 
Such is the precision and the safety provided by the air traffic control system. Air traffic management, that is the management of air traffic, that is air traffic control, air traffic flow management and all other things are integrated to form air traffic management. All these things will be discussed in details in the later sections. AIM, that is aeronautical information management, that is all the information regarding various airports, various routes, etc. All are, these all things are uh, blanketed in the term aeronautical information management. ATS, air traffic services. And that can be air traffic control service, air traffic meteorological service, met communication service, anything. ATFM, air traffic flow management. That means there is a lot of traffic. So when to release, I mean, when to calculate, the, how, how to calculate the flow, how to manage the flow. That means when to release one aircraft. One more full form is there, which I forgot to mention here. Let me write. That is CTOT, C-T-O-T. That is calculated take of time. Please note it down in your notebook. Calculated take of time. That is issued by the ATFM center only. That means when an aircraft should be should take off. That is five minutes or five minutes before and after. There is a calculation. I'm not going to details of all that. So that's calculated take off time. And IAF is Indian Air Force. AGA is Aerodrome and Aerodrome ground aids, that means what are the aids they are on the ground for the aerodrome. METAR, that is Meteorological Aerodrome Report. What is METAR? That means, see meteorology, that means weather. Meteorology means weather. In aviation, the role of meteorology is very important. When the air, aircraft will be facing weather, at what visibility? Visibility is very important. Like when the plane is landing, it should have, it should be able to see the runway. So I am not going into details, but just let me tell you in short, METAR is Meteorological Aerodrome Report and METAR is present in every airport, every aerodrome control center or the tower. VFR is Visual Flight Rules and the next one IFR that is Instrument Flight Rules. What is Visual Flight Rules and Instrument Flight Rules? In For an aer aeroplane, when it is flying, for uh, it can fly by two means, either by seeing around, seeing the terrain that is the ground, seeing the skies. Just like we would drive a car, it can fly like that or it can fly with the help of instruments. That is IFR. It will be tuning to a facility, it will be tuning to some navigational aid and it will be flying with the help of that. So that is one is VFR, one is IFR. VFR is mostly done by military aircraft, small aircrafts and the commercial aircrafts generally fly through IFR. We will be discussing about this in details later. RESA, Runway and Safety Area. What is RESA? Runway and safety area is when the aircraft is taking off. Suddenly, for certain reason, the aircraft will not take off, but it has already attained some speed. So it will be stopping, but somehow it could not stop till the end of the runway. It has to go beyond that. So beyond that, there is a soft ground, soft soil type something where the aircraft will stop and that area is made soft so that it will create minimum damage, the least possible damage to the aircraft. ADC is Aerodrome Control Center. What is Aerodrome? In a, in a layman's language, the airport and the airport is called the Aerodrome. The airport and the surrounding areas, the runway and the surrounding areas, that is called the Aerodrome. Approach Control Center. What is Approach? Approach is when the air, after the aircraft takes off or before landing, the it has to descend from a particular height. So that descend and climb is taken care by Approach. Area control center. Area control center is, it covers the large area, like it will, after climbing, it will maintain the level and from one unit to the other unit, the in between portion is taken care by the area. TORA, take off run available, TORA. So how much distance the aircraft will, will be getting on the runway before it takes off. Larger aircraft will require more, smaller aircraft will be requiring less. Take off distance available that is TORA. I will be discussing about this later. LDA, landing distance available. That means how much distance will the aircraft get to land on the runway. Like immediately after touching down, the aircraft needs some distance to slow down. ASDA, accelerated stop distance available. That means if the aircraft has to abort its takeoff, then how after how much distance will it have to be, will it get to stop? RWY, that is runway. 
TWY that is taxiway. Now the, what is taxiway? Taxi means what we know. In general term taxi means it's a car from where we go from one place to another by paying some money. That's taxi or cab. But taxi is different. Taxing means an aircraft using its engine power is moving on the ground. That is taxi. Other than for the purpose of taking off or landing from one part, part to the other. So and the <laughs> designated path is known as taxiway. VHF very high frequency frequency band of 30 to 300 megahertz so what is vhf vhf band in this frequency band pilot and controllers can communicate so the the controller and the pilot will be communicating in vhf band vor vhf omnidirectional radio range also what is vh vor vor is vor is the facility navigational aid through which the pilot will be able to get the direction direction from that facility from that aid so that this VOR is very important for navigation purpose it will be tuning to that VOR and it will be homing it is also called homing facility that means it will be moving towards that VOR as it moves closer to the VOR the signal gets stronger I, I hope I can explain in a very in a very simple manner GNSS global navigation satellite system nowadays the navigation system is done using satellites, GNSS. GNSS is a very common thing. You can Google it or I will be discussing it later. RNAV is area navigation. RNAV also it is a complex topic. I will have to discuss it later. So that's all for this video. And if you like our content, then please subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon. And in the comment section, please mention any other abbreviation which you may feel it is important for aviation and which I may need to discuss here. And it will be helpful for others also. Thank you.